has answers for you, but they're based on a lie. That you can be your own God, rule your own life. Well, you can try. We all want to sit on our own little imaginary throne. But what if your life is really not your own? The world is hell-bent on convincing you that you are in control, when the truth is you've been cast in a supporting role. But all of us want to be the star of our own existence. Try living for God, then you face all kinds of resistance. At least, that is, any other God than the one we create for ourselves. The one who's supposed to respond to our every beck and call. A God who would never have the nerve to ask us to give our all. One who we blame when things don't go our way. Then turn around and expect him to show up and save the day. We don't want a God who calls us to be holy, obedient, and pure. But we'll settle for one who doesn't care if we're self-centered, jealous, immature. Then we forget God is not impressed when we do church stuff religiously. He's far more concerned with how we love and if we trust his word consistently. But we have become quite jolly in our folly. We entertain celebrity voices that may sound nice and even realistic, but peel back the mask, you'll find most of them are narcissistic. Because we wouldn't accept the gospel truth as insurmountable, we have created a God who would never hold anyone accountable. I mean, hell can't be real. That's just some scary diversion. You can't tell me I'm about to burn because I know uh, I'm a good person. What about those bad guys? You've got dictators, murderers, pedophiles and thieves. So I might have lied once or twice, but clearly I'm not as bad as these. Let me tell you about the God I know. His greatness is greater than our most glorious gladiator. His wisdom is worthy of our trust. His anger is righteous and just. His power is unparalleled. His character, unchangeable. His plan was perfected in Christ. His breath is what brings us to life. Of his mercies, we are undeniably undeserving. That's why he's the only master worthy of us serving. His judgments are justified. His hand is what holds me. His name is holy. His presence is peace. His blood is like bleach on my sin-stained skin. His voice is the one that told time to begin. His spirit guides me where the shadow of his wings hides me. His passion inspires me. His love overwhelms me entirely. His armor protects me. His word corrects me. His cross gives me access directly to the throne room of grace where I fall on my face and I have only two simple words. But somehow thank you just doesn't seem like enough. When I don't know where to start, I just pour out my heart. Before I knew you, my life was a travesty, but now I'm saved, and I stand before your majesty, and I say thank you. I love you with all my heart, mind, and soul, but I still don't understand. How could you make a diamond from this black lump of coal? I say thank you. Thank you for your patience and sacrifice. Thank you, Father, for the promise of paradise. I'll say thank you until my last breath is spent. Then close my eyes and rest in peace, trusting in the Son you sent. With all I have and all I am, I say thank you. <laughs>